All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sadna from Sadna's Flavors. We have another awesome recipe today. We're gonna do some like quarters. I'm going to bake. This is called barbecue baked like quarters. Um, I choose like quarters only because, you know, I get both worlds as in the drumstick and the thigh, which is the most juiciest part of your chicken. Um, I did keep the skin on these guys. I really did because I want all that maximum flavor to really be into the meat. So this is why I kept it. Okay. You can always take the skin off of it. If you're more on a healthy side or whatever, you know, you can pull the skin off of it. If you don't eat skin, if you don't like skin, you know, things like that. Cause I have someone in my life that don't eat skin, but you know, there's, you can do a lot of things with this you can like i said you can rip the skin out you don't have to but i kept them on because i like them now guys that beep that you did here is my oven like i said i'm baking this i'm preheating my oven to 350 okay 350 and i 350 for now then i will raise it again when it's necessary but for now we're starting off very gradually um, at 350 so my oven just went off you can start your oven as well you know preheat that okay I wash this with vinegar I cut out as much fat as I can from them I do want to keep a little bit of fat only because um, it moistens you know it will moisten the chicken as much as possible okay um, I gotta wash my hands I touched up just the raw chicken so I need to wash my hands again all right so now like I said ingredients this is all dry rub you know I don't whenever I do baked chicken or whenever I do anything big I don't use fresh the only thing fresh I would probably use is my parsley or whatever else you know oregano or uh, not oregano um rosemary and things like that i would use fresh if i want to but i didn't have um so i'm using dry instead okay so here i have some garlic powder onion powder oregano i love love oregano in baked anything or you're cooking anything I love that flavor that it gives you know in your meat and your food here I have some parsley which is dry here I have the barbecue sauce obviously barbecue sauce of your choice okay you don't have to use just whatever barbecue sauce you guys have you can always use this uh, whatever you have okay salt paprika for color not really heat but just color black pepper and Cajun seasoning okay so I'm gonna add those in here mix them all together okay like you just saw I already washed my hands um, so I'm gonna add all these guys in here I'm gonna marinate it I'm gonna mix it all up make sure it's fully coated and I will be back and show you guys how that is okay be back soon alright guys I add all the seasoning in here that I had here I put it all in except for the barbecue sauce of course all right we have a pan if you don't want to line your pan with foil wrap you know you don't have to do that the reason why I do it is for easy cleaning up you know you just pick it up any sauce leaking anything that's you know dripping anywhere it's in the pan okay because I don't want to lose anything okay I'm, I don't want to lose any flavor I don't want to get rid of anything okay so I rather it stays within the pan so I can always extract it okay now like I said my hands were already clean I just put everything in here and I will mix everything together okay so make sure everything is fully coated guys when I wash my chicken um, with vinegar very well you know I wash it three four times you know five times six times depending on how your chicken feels if it still feels a little slimy or it feels a little ucky you know just just continue washing it until that feeling goes away when you touch your chicken okay and I always rinse it out individually under the water okay I just don't and strain it fill it up with water and strain it or I don't fill it up with water wash it and no 
when I'm done doing all of that six, seven times, depending on how many times you want to wash your chicken, I always take individual pieces and run it under the faucet again, okay? And then I pat it dry with paper towel because you don't want any liquid. You don't want a saucy um, barbecue. You want everything to hold together and stick together and not everything just running all over the place, okay? Now, make sure all in here gets it. You know, flip your chicken around, make sure everywhere gets that seasoning and everything is in there doing well, okay? Now, like I said, I already have my oven preheated, okay? So, now I'm going to move this over and I'm going to put my chicken in here, all right? I don't have to spray anything in here, guys, because like I said, the little itty bitty fat that's gonna render out from your chicken is going to coat this pan. Plus this is already obviously non-stick, but if you're not using this, please do spray with a butter spray or anything. So just in case, you know, you don't want anything to stick, okay? So now we are going to place our chicken in here, like so. This one here, and then we'll do this extra one here. Okay, now whatever is left in this pan or in this bowl that you marinate and you mix all your stuff in, please take it out. Please, nothing goes to waste. Okay, nothing goes to waste. Coat it, put it, spread it, anything that you want to do. Okay, spread it all over okay all right so this is all good I'm gonna wash my hands guys washing your hands when you're touching all these raw stuff is really really important you know you don't want to contaminate anything you don't want germs anywhere all right so it's very very important because it's not cooked meat it's not you know it's can transfer everywhere on your sink your counter everywhere okay all right so that's done now we are gonna pop this into the oven at 350 for 30 minutes okay after 30 minutes I'll pull it out and I'll show you guys what I do next all right so see you then all right guys after 30 minutes being in the oven okay this is what it looks like all right, this is just 30 minutes. See all that juice that's dripping in there? That's all the fat that was in there, you know, that's running down in the middle there. That's all the fat that was rendered out, okay? Now, I'm going to take that fat that's in here, get in there, and kind of just coat this, okay? we don't want anything to go and if you don't have enough fat like I said if you don't have enough fat come to a corner where you can gather all of it all the juice on the corner here pick it up brush it brush it along guys that's all you're doing because remember you don't want too much liquid in here so you're trying to accumulate the usage of all this flavor because you don't want to like obviously throw it out get rid of it because it's, it's flavor who throws away flavor? I don't. So, the best thing you can do is start coating your chicken, okay? Coat your chicken. Because when we took it out of the oven, after 30 minutes, it was dry on the top. Because we didn't put anything there. Because I knew the fat would render out, and we can use the fat juice in the pan to do this, okay? See how beautiful this looks? It's starting to gloss, it's starting to look juicy so I look amazing all right guys so now we will put this back into the oven again because my chicken is not fully cooked I want my chicken to fully cook in order to apply the barbecue sauce because there's a step that we will take that's very crucial to this barbecue uh, like quarters okay so so now that we coat everything with all our pan juice that's, you know, in here, 
because we're not going to throw it away. We're going to pop it back into the oven. We'll let it go for another maybe 20 minutes. Okay. After 20 minutes, I will take it out again and I will show you the next step after that. All right, guys. All right. Let me pop this bad boys back in there and I'll see you guys in 20 minutes. Hi, guys. I'm back. Now, this is after 20 minutes, okay? Our second time putting it back in, all right? This is after 20 minutes. I'm going to show you guys. Look at that. It looks really good, doesn't it? It smells amazing. Guys, these seasonings, even though they're dry seasoning and it's not, you know, these fresh seasoning that you use, but let me tell you something. You still get the maximum flavor. You still get the maximum smell. You still get the maximum everything out of it okay so please don't be discouraged in using dry seasonings for any of your cooking it still will taste great all right so guys this is what it looks like it released a lot more juice this time so I am NOT going to now no offense I have to drain this okay should I let's see first let's see I see a piece of chicken there now all right, now, you see that chicken that's on the top here? I'm sorry, guys, I can't hold the pan. This is, oh, yes, I can. Yes, I can. All right, now, I'm pointing it out. Do you see that piece right there? Meaning, it's still a little bit raw, okay? It's still a little bit raw. So guess what? Looking at a chicken, you can tell if it's cooked and if it's not cooked, okay? So... If you feel to yourself that if you look at chicken, it looks like this right here, meaning this part hasn't really cooked through completely, okay? Now we're gonna coat this again, okay? With that pan juice, because we do want this to cook, but we don't want it to be, you know, not moist, okay? So let's go. We're going to tilt this to a corner right to a course see all the liquid right there guys look see that good now I'm gonna dip I'm gonna rub okay dip and I'm gonna rub just like that that's all that you're doing nothing more this is all that you're doing okay is that you're moistening the skin you're moistening the chicken I don't know if it's wrong for me to say, but you gotta love your chicken, okay? If you guys are doing this, guys, just love your chicken. <laughs> love it, gloss it, you know, this is beautiful, okay? Coat it, it's amazing. You have to love what you do in cooking. You have to look at your meat you have to understand your meat and understand everything so that's what I'm here for on my channel guys is to let you guys see for yourself what I'm doing step by step and what you know is happening and what you should expect whether it's wrong or whether it's right okay but this is how you learn this is how you learn to cook I don't sugarcoat nothing. Like I said all the time in my videos, I do not sugarcoat anything, okay? Everyone makes mistakes. No one is perfect, including myself. Not because I have a YouTube channel. Doesn't mean that, oh yeah, Sadna can cook and she's, no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no, my friends, no. You know, everyone makes mistakes at times. Everyone, you know, including myself, including people that's, cooking and other channels I don't know if they have them up there with their mistakes but I, I will point mine out completely because these are things that you guys are gonna face when you decide to cook my recipe and I want you guys to understand that it's okay it's completely okay completely okay all right all right so now we're gonna coat this which we just did with all the juice all right we're gonna put this back in the oven again because like I said, I pointed out where the rawness is in your meat. This is light quarters, it's a little bit thicker, okay? So it needs a little bit more time, all right? I still have it on 350 because I really want to gradually cook this. 
because if you cook it on a high heat, it intends to draw out so much moisture out of this um, leg quarters that you end up having not so moist meat to eat, you know, at the end product. And that is not what I want. Patience, 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 patience in cooking. Patience, that is what this is all about, okay? Have patience in cooking, all right? It will take some time. Your family are gonna get upset, you know? That's what they do. They're gonna get upset and they're gonna be like, oh, when the food is finished, you know? Why is it taking so long? Why is this, why is that? But guess what? The end result, they will not complain. Mouths will be munching away. Food will be completely gone, you know? So, guys, all right. So now, I'll put this back in the oven. I'm gonna do this for another 15 minutes this time because I really, really wanna make sure that this meat here really cooks. Okay, like I said, I'm doing a 350. I rather gradually cook to, into it because you're cooking your meat inside out, okay? You're not cooking meat outside in. You're cooking it inside out. So this is why I'm doing this very gradually so that it cooks from the inside out. All right, so I'll see you guys in another 15 minutes. All right guys, after 15 minutes again, putting it back in there, all right? Oh, I'm gonna burn myself with this damn thing. All right, now, this is exactly what it looks like. Like I said, there's a lot of juice in here. Quite, quite a bit, okay? I have to drain this out only because now I'm ready to broil this. Now, broiling is a very tricky thing, okay? Now, broiling, while I'm talking to you guys, as you can see, I'm going to be kind of releasing some juice in this container. I mean, can can we do a spoon maybe? I'm scared I drop all my juice in my pan. <laughs> it makes no sense of me foil wrapping this, you know? Putting that full wrap in there. All right, all right, let's move these bad boys over. Come on. Oh, God, that looks sexy. That looks really good under there. All right, now, this is well cooked. Now, all I'm doing, I'm going to release some of this juice out. Only because now I don't want it to be too saucy and I'm making a bunch of mess. Hey, that's good. It's all good. It's all good. Now, as I coat my barbecue sauce on my chicken here, my gorgeous chicken, guys, my gorgeous, gorgeous chicken, okay? Now, I don't want to get rid of all of that sauce. I really don't. Because as you start to gradually broil this, everything will caramelize, okay? It will caramelize and you don't want it to burn if there's no juice in the bottom there to catch all of that caramelization on your chicken. Do you understand? So this is why we're only taking out a little bit. Okay. Now, oh, this looks so good. I want to eat it right now, but I don't want to. All right. Now, I'm going to brush. I'm going to flip. First, I'm gonna flip my chicken. The reason why I'm flipping my chicken, guys, is because I wanna do the bottom part first, okay? Especially if you're presenting this. Ooh, see a skin just pull apart? Wow. All right, this is well cooked, well developed with all the flavors, okay? So I'm gonna flip these guys right now, okay? Like that, okay? So I flip them all over. Now, I'm going to brush my barbecue sauce on them, like this. And I'm going to really coat these guys, okay? While I'm doing this, guys, no offense, put your stove, okay? Put your stove on broil, okay? Your rack has to be 
on the top shelf, okay? So, we're going to coat them. Okay, I press broil and let it go, all right? I'm gonna hit start just in case. I don't know if it's going or not, but you know, with these stoves. All right, so now I'm gonna coat here. Guys, any barbecue choices, you know, any barbecue of your choice will be great. You don't have to, you know, it's anything you guys want, you know, it's anything. Guys, coat, coat your chicken, coat your chicken. Oh, I'm super excited only because I'm always well I'm always excited to cook but you know <laughs> things like this just makes me happy um any kind of food makes me happy actually as I cook and I share with you guys I'm super happy now we are going to pop this back in there in the broil section for about four minutes understand Four minutes only because now let's talk about broiling guys please please let's talk about broiling broiling is could be good and it also can be bad okay when you're broiling things get burnt very quickly so that's the part where it goes bad okay things get burnt very very quickly all right super quickly so what you want to do is time yourself guys invest in one of these please do in your whole entire cooking process in all my videos and all my baking videos or any kind of videos i always have this okay a timer because it's crucial you could be busy with your family you could be busy with your loved ones you know you're entertaining and you're busy with that with family members and friends and you want to socialize and cook all at the same time and this is why a timer is super super important you don't want to serve your guests your family you know whoever is at your home and you're cooking your loved ones you know your husband your wife you don't want to give them burnt food okay or can't eat dinner because you burnt the food okay we don't want that so Please invest in one of these as my time goes. I always, always have that going. All right. So now I have it on broil. I'm going to pop it on top shelf for about four minutes because I want this to caramelize really well. The bottom of it. I wanted to absorb all of that coat that I just put on barbecue sauce. And I want it to caramelize really well. And then I will take it out and show you guys what's going to happen next. Okay. So I will definitely see you guys next. All right, guys. This is about four minutes right here. Okay. Now, this is what it looks like. It caramelized everything on the top. Now, I'm going to flip them over and do the other side as well. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh. As I'm flipping these guys, you can see the meat just so tender, very tender. And this is what you want. Oh, God. Very, very tender. Okay. So I'm going to flip them. Okay. Now. Oh, I love this skin. Now I'm going to try to spread the skin out. If you guys see that the skin is like, you know, wrinkled, <laughs> like it um shrivel up it shrink and it gets you know it's pulled together guys just pull it out a little bit spread it out spread the love out on this chicken <laughs> okay now i'm gonna coat the other side okay all right let's go coat the other side oh make sure you get a lot of barbecue sauce on the skin because that will give you the oh man it will give you the maximum flavor but if you guys see a skin that's coming apart like this like mine hey add some barbecue sauce in there okay there 
So if everyone or whoever don't like skin, they can pull it out and still have the flavor in there, okay? I will probably flip that over when I'm done with these guys here. I will definitely flip that one over. Okay, so whatever skin, pull it, it's fine. If it comes off and it's rolling off, perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Cooking, like I always said to you guys, cooking is not perfect. Oh no, it is not perfect. You understand? It's not perfect. So, I don't want you to feel like this is supposed to be perfect and you guys are supposed to be doing this and it's perfect. No, this, this is the ins and outs of cooking. Like I always said, this is the ins and outs of cooking. All right, now, <clears throat> I made sure I got everything in there. I got all my, let me make sure I get every nooks and tiny of this sauce, barbecue sauce in there. Um, let's get it all out, guys. Get it all out. Get it all out. Pat it. Get it in there, under even under the skin that was lifted here. Get it under there. Okay, that was just enhance more flavor, okay? Because now that fat is rendered out under that skin and now it's just, ooh, yummy. All right, now let's flip the skin back. Oh, man, look at this. <gasps> this looks so good. <laughs> Can I eat this? No, I can't eat this right now. So we're gonna pop this back onto the broil for another few minutes, which is about maybe five minutes because I wanna make sure everything is crisp. Everything was locked in. All the flavors are locked in. All the barbecue sauce is locked in. Okay, so that is my go. All right, so five minutes guys, and I'll see you. All right guys, I took it out of the oven under the broil. Now, look at the skin on these bad boys <laughs> look at them they look so good so juicy it's like you took them out of the grill you know you never know this was from the oven okay that's the trick that we have all right understand utilize your oven you don't this is why we have an oven guys summertime of course i would love to put these guys on a grill Oh my God, I would love to put them on a grill. But, you know, it's winter here and this is what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm going to transfer it out and I'm going to do my taste test that I'm super excited about. Super, duper excited. Oh, man. Look at these guys. Oh, my God. Look at them. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh, man. So juicy. So amazing. Okay. So amazing. Yeah, so amazing. All right, guys, I'm going to cut in one, into one of these because I'm, yes, yes, I'm starving. I'm going to move them with this. I'm going to cut into one of these. Okay, let's move this aside. Put in here, obviously. Now, let's cut into one of these guys, all right? Now, let's go. This is, this is the best part. Guys, this is, this is the best part. This is the taste tester part, okay? So, let's see these guys right here. Oh, look, at, look at the skin. It's like charred. And that, oh, those burnt bits of pieces. Guys, this is super hot. Please be careful if you're doing a, you know, a test at home and, you know, take a smaller piece as possible with a little skin. You know, with a little skin that I'm pulling apart right now. A little skin. And taste it. See, the smoke is still coming through this. This is very hot. Okay. I don't like to blow stuff over my food. 
because you know it's really inappropriate but gosh this is really good all right let's go we're gonna taste this <sighs> no lie wow wow no lie guys no lie okay you don't know how good I will actually take I'm gonna take this piece right here anyway so I can use my same fork I'm gonna take this piece so I'm gonna use my same fork and dip into this oh my god see this is why I like a uh, thigh it's so juicy and it's fully cooked okay it's very juicy oh gosh Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Mm. Yes, guys, this is good, okay? Now, you guys can have this with rice, some mashed potatoes, some veggies on the side, you know? Or you can have this um by itself with mashed potatoes. Any any combination that you guys want to do. Or I could just eat this just alone, you know. It's barbecue chicken. You know what? Hey, eat. So it's okay, all right? See, I love this because the skin is very crispy like you would get on a grill. You know, it's it's really good. It's really good, all right? All right, guys, thank you so much for being part of my video today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. You know, comment, leave messages, anything. Let me know what you guys think of my video today. All right? So take care. Take care. Guys, um, where I live right now, it's, it's snowy outside. I live in Jersey. So, <clears throat> New Jersey. So all the other states around me, guys, please be safe out there. It is snowing. It's slippery out there. We have more storms coming, okay? So stay safe, stay warm, okay? Barbecue inside, even though it's snowing outside, okay? You still get the full effect, okay, in barbecuing, and you'll still enjoy your meal. So please do that, all right? Thank you so much for your love and support, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.